In this video, we're going to discuss what to do if you're using an iPad with Climate Field View Cab app and your Gen 2 or Gen 1 2020, and the iPad shows that it's connected, but it's not charging. You see here on my iPad in the upper right hand corner that it says not charging. In this case, I have my charging cord from the iPad going into the side of my Generation 2 2020. That is not the correct plug-in location to have my 2020 be able to charge. If I want this 2020 to charge properly, I need to be plugged into the back middle USB port with my charging cord. This port will both communicate and send current to the 2020 to charge it. So I changed my plug-in location. Now I get the pop-up on my 2020. Is this your 2020? I'll select yes. And then you can see in the upper right hand corner, now I have the battery symbol with the charging lightning bolt icon. Now, if you have the case where you have the charging symbol in the upper right hand corner of the iPad with the lightning bolt, but the battery is slowly going down throughout the day, it will not keep up the charge of the iPad. There's a few comments there. So one, uh, some of the cases for the iPads, such as I have on this one here, are very um, large and they cause the iPad to run at a higher temperature, which is not as efficient for charging. So one option is to remove that case so that the iPad uh, can cool more easily. And you can even direct one of your air conditioning vents on the tractor at the iPad to help it cool. Another thing that we've seen is older iPads with older batteries, just like your cell phone, are not as efficient anymore and the iPad may be using more processing power than the batteries capable of supplying through the day and that's why the charge level is going down through the day. If you navigate on your 2020 by going to the setup and diagnose and the FVM you can see here some statuses that we are connected authenticated and have a field view session, but you can also see the voltage and the current that is being outputted. And you can see here that we're outputting nearly two amps of current, and that's the maximum that we're allowed to output uh, for the iPad. So those are some thoughts there. So another thing to check, if you're using a Generation 2 2020, you want to look at the back of your iPad holder to see if a module like this is still there and is connected with this harness to the back of the 2020. If so, that module is the module that's used with a Generation 1 2020. It should not be used with a Generation 2 2020. If you maybe upgraded from a Gen 1 to a Gen 2, you may not have realized this module should be removed. So what you'll need to do in that case is remove this Y harness that's coming from the module to the back of the 2020. We're going to remove that and then we're going to take this charging cord from your iPad, remove that from the module and plug it into the back middle port of your Generation 2 2020.